So uh, moving on, we can't talk about this too long because this is already, I think, our longest podcast. Um, so real quick, so Jay and I will just, you know, we had our moment. So um, Adam, Destiny, opinion section, VR games, not VR games, flat screen games, you want in VR. Go. Come Ooh, on, guys. Okay, to be, like, so on the draw. <laughs> Pavlov to me is my CSGO. I mean, right. they're so similar. So I guess the only other game that I'm missing, and like GTA's, we already talked about, technically you can already play that in VR. So I would say more of the horror games that I like, the multiplayer ones like Jason, the Friday the 13th game. I love playing it. And you can like, like it's online multiplayer. And so I would love to see a game like that in VR. Mm. Dead by yeah. Daylight or Dead Jason, by Daylight. Like yeah. Ones. Yeah. They should add it's some more VR stuff support. like that would be really fun. I bet, oh, there is intense. There is a V. Um. Oh, what? Oh, what was it? There is definitely a co-op VR game that I like. Saw some footage on Reddit. I don't know if it was out or not. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it. But, um, it might have been. I know, a mod. I know what you're talking about because there was something vague in my mind when she yeah. said it. It's like I've seen something. I've kind of like there's that. Definitely something. It's either in the works it's or it's thing? out and not well known. Yeah, it's like a. It's a. It's a shooter, but it's like a horror shooter and Ooh. um yeah it's like a four person co-op horror shooter i forget if it's class based Ooh. um it might it's have not prey is it prey has a vr mode and it? i know prey is kind of yeah. like that i prey forget had, prey like... is, yeah prey is more like the prop hunt mode yeah though when when it gets to the vr multiplayer mm-hmm. there is also that uh there is a prop hunt vr <laughs> a game that's going to be coming out <laughs> um that, that i've seen but it kind of looks like like a, a little bit on the tech demo we said whereas this looked like a at least an attempt at a more proper game it'll show it'll still be indie oh poltergeist was that it it's like a poltergeist game where you have like some yeah where you have like one player oh, yeah, is playing the, as like a, a yeah. ghost and then the other people are trying to like banish right. it or whatever so that game i've definitely seen some footage of. i forget what that game's called is that what you're talking about not, not the one i was talking about first the the first one is like definitely it looked like a a more proper like VR uh, horror shooter that was co op, mm. and I it might have been just a mod. Maybe it was a mod for was it is it GTFO? Maybe it's GTFO. <laughs> I forget. I'm I'm gonna have to look this up after this because this is gonna bug the yeah, hell out of me. Yeah, you have to let me know. Yeah, Adam, what do you want? What do you want for Christmas Oof. in VR? <laughs> I Please would love it. a Dark Souls game in VR. <laughs> that would be sweet. That's what I would really enjoy because it's one that is heavily <laughs> skill-based, which just takes it to the next level in VR, right? <laughs> Imagine being able to parry your block with the sword. Jay's like, this guy's a total you know, masochist. Eh, you die, but... <laughs> <laughs> I would love a Dark Souls game in VR. Better be only on the index because it has to have perfect tracking. That's games that have like a super steep difficulty curve. If a tracking thing happens even slightly, I- I'm just done with it. Cause it's like, no, <laughs> I already had to be so good at this. I don't know, man. Good luck. If it comes out, I'll watch you play it. Okay. I'll admit I'm, I'm, pr- I, I'm not, I've never finished a from software game that that that's the developers who make Dark Souls and Bloodborne and Sekiro. Excuse me, Sekiro. Um, and for those that aren't familiar with those games, that they're like really hard RPGs. Um, I I've never finished one, but I still also would absolutely love one in VR, and maybe I'd be tempted to yeah. actually finish it this time. I I can never I'm I'm not that much of a masochist. <laughs> I definitely burn out on those games after. Um, I think I got uh probably halfway through bloodborne um sekiro i got mm, maybe a quarter through and i haven't played any of the dark souls in any like decent amount um but yeah that i mean just that's another genre of game that it would be nice to have in vr just even for just the length those are lengthy games and they're well made that would be pretty cool to have a game that really and especially in game like a game like Dark Souls, where it's so much of it is pairing and dodging, like you said, getting that across yeah. to VR would be pretty sweet and getting it the length of like a full game. For me, what I love about the Dark Souls game and what I would love, why I would love to see it in VR is that there's such a high skill cap. Mm. 
You know, it, it's not just about getting the controls down, learning the controls and doing the motions in VR. It's about under like mastering the controls. Like you see an enemy and you can parry at just the right time and you know it's oh this enemy he favors his right. You can parry and then attack him real quick. And that's the sort of thing that I would absolutely love to see. And that isn't to wrap it up, but do you think VR is ready for that? Do you think that you have the tracking to like put a sword in a, in a super tight hitbox and get it just right when someone's trying to attack you? Like, because the only games I played, like Shadow Legends, kind of tried to do that, but it was it was pretty forgiving. Like you blocked and then you could strike, and you blocked and then you could strike. Do you think VR is ready for this? Um, it depends on how they I implement do. it. Mm. <laughs> because like like Dark Souls, it's you know because you don't really get to strike on a specific side per se it's more of a it's more of an attack pattern that you're trying to learn um Sekiro had a bit that put got that a little bit more in depth um but it, it's not like for honor where you like have to like focus on like specific sides and um for a sword strike so there would definitely be that difficulty of implementing in VR is it just as simple as make sure you do a blocking motion when they attack and then do a striking motion when they're weak and be on the right side of them to do that versus like some proper blade and sorcery mechanics of like blocking a sword with your sword sort of a thing. It would be a challenge. I don't envy the developer that tries to tackle dark Souls, dark souls in VR. I just want <laughs> it. That's their problem. <laughs> Yeah, not me. I'm not handling that. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> yeah, good luck to whoever does that. From software, if you could pull that off, mwah, you will have my eternal gratitude. <laughs> and my paycheck. And my paycheck. <laughs> and my firstborn children. <laughs> All right. And with that, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we are already at one minute or one hour and 43 minutes. Uh, I so wanted to say what I wanted to say about what game I wanted, but oh well. Throw it in there for the patrons. A little bonus yes. section after the end. Exactly. <laughs> we'll say it after the podcast ends. Uh, <laughs> so, everyone, thank you for listening to the podcast. Been really fun. This was a good one. If you, again, want to see us in our faces, you're just a listener and you're like, they keep doing, they're clearly referencing something that I'm not seeing. Well, we're referencing things you're not seeing. There's some stuff happening here in <laughs> VR. We try to make it as audio friendly, though, as we can. Um, head on over to the YouTube channel. We upload in segments. And then finally, a week after the podcast goes up on Friday. Um, the la So every Friday, the last podcast goes up in full on YouTube if you just want to wait for that. But if you're impatient, segments go up before then. Um, and we have Patreon. I am planning officially. I'm I'm now in the works of. I want to get some audience opportunities for Patreon members. Um, not necessarily talking yet. That's not quite organized. But at least to be able to like be in the room, like sit at one of those chairs, for example, um, and or just hang out in the background. Whatever. We'll figure something out. I'm getting that working. If you want to be a part of that, join our Patreon community and become an avid diver over at I think it's Patreon.com or patreon slash full dive podcast.com but i could be wrong it's in the description if i get it wrong um and join the discord community lots of cool stuff happening there these all these guys are all there they can all attest in fact i'm the like one of the least active people you guys do a pretty good job at <laughs> keeping up with all those guys <laughs> this is true <laughs> well, you know you're busy like actually making the show in one yeah right? yeah so. exactly <laughs> That's the least we can do. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, guys, and have a good one. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Woo! It was so unexpected. Adam, you gotta actually say bye. <laughs> <laughs> Not they can't see you just bye. wave your hands. <laughs> bye. Oh yeah. That's just take the best shot, put them all together. Sure.